Welcome to Rapid Revision for Computer Science students. In this lecture, we will be studying the body system in memory management. What does the term actually mean? Okay, it's very simple friends if you pay attention to it. First of all, the first point says that in the body system, initially memory will be a single contiguous free block. Okay, so um, memory, suppose we have got a memory of 128 MB. So, it will be a single contiguous free block. Okay, contiguous free block is present and then Second point states that whenever the request by the process arise, memory will be divided into two half blocks. Suppose whenever the request for the process arise, memory will be divided into two half blo blocks. What happens is that suppose a request for the process by the process arises, then this memory which is of 128 MB is subdivided into two equal halves that is of 64 MB and 64 MB. Okay, so this is the criteria. Okay, now the third one is that if the request by the process is too small, then the lower block of the memory is further divided into two half blocks again. So what happens? Suppose uh, we have got a request by the process which wants 18 MB of memory. So, what happens is that 18 is more than 64, much more than, okay, so, and also more than the less multiple of 2, okay, so suppose, uh, again, let's clear this with the example, this is a particular, we have done a partition of 64 MB, further, if we divide it, suppose it is 32 MB chunk and it is 32 MB chunk. And if we further divide it into uh, two parts, then it we will get 16 MB and 16 MB. So, this requirement will not be fulfilled. But this is the 32 MB, which is the first uh, optimized solution. Okay. So, we will, uh, we will be uh, storing this 18 MB uh, space here. Okay. So, we will be allocating the process here, the space here. So, we will allocate P1, which is holding 18 MB which wants the 18 MB of memory. Okay, so we have allocated it here. So this is how we have to fulfill it. Uh, uh, fulfill the request made by the process. Okay, now the fourth point is in the body system, the memory will be allocated from lower blocks to higher blocks. As we have discussed um, here in the previous page. Okay, so we have allocated the resource from lower blocks okay so that is what we have discussed in the body system the memory will be allocated from lower blocks to higher blocks suppose uh, suppose after 18 MB request we are having uh, suppose what was the memory structure here 128 MB and this was 64 MB and it was further divided into 32 MB and 32 MB and we placed our 18 MB here. Now suppose uh, some request arises of 17 MB. Then what happens? We will allocate this uh, process here. This was P1 and this is suppose P2. So we are allocating from lower blocks to higher blocks. So this is the point. This is the fourth point which is very important. So you need to understand it very clearly. So the request will be full allocated. Memory will be allocated from lower blocks to higher blocks. Okay. So this is done with the concepts. Now we will solve a question based on body system. Okay. This is the question. And the body system of memory management successive request of 50k, 25k and 35k are satisfied with 256k of available memory how many block sizes are left so we will be starting with the first point which said that memory will be a single contiguous memory okay so memory uh, we are uh, we have told that we have got 256k of available memory okay so it is 256k of available memory so we will write it 256k so for uh, the request for the process arises by if, uh, 50k of 25k and 35k okay so for 50k to 50k is much less than 256 so it will be divided into two parts that is 128k and this is also 128k okay further if we want to divide it uh, also 
if we see that uh, 128 by 2 is 64k so 64k is also greater than 50k so we can divide it further also because the pro request for the pro by the process is too small so we will divide into two parts according to the point we have already discussed okay so it is 50k will be allocated here here 64k is there it is also 64k so 50k is allocated now after that the request for 25k arises uh, we can see that uh, 64k by 2 is 32k which is also greater than 25k so we will further divide into two parts that is 32k and 32k okay so in this 32k we will be storing this allocating this uh, resource for the process 2 okay this is process 1 so we have already allocated the p1 here and p2 here now you have got here 32k left and the request is for 35k which is greater than of the 32k okay so we can observe that this request is 35k is greater than 32k and as i have already told in the fourth point that um, when the request uh, we will be allocating the memory from the lower block to upper block so here 32k is already uh, very small so we cannot allocate the memory for p3 here so we will be heading towards the upper block and upper block is of 128k which is much more uh, by the request okay uh, actually the request for the process is a request made by the process is much less is very small than the actual block present so it we will divide by 2 so it will be 64k and this is also 64k so um, here we can allocate the process p3 that is 35k okay so we have allocated here so if we check the free memory what is the free many uh, we are asked in the question that how many blocks with sizes are left so we are left with the two blocks that is block 1 here with 64k and block 2 here with the 32k okay so we are done with the option that is we are uh, having two blocks with 32k and 64k so this will be the answer thank you